this topic. Dump trailers versus dumpster roll-offs. All right, I'm not gonna get in front of a whiteboard and run the numbers for you guys because honestly, like always with everything I talk to you guys about, my numbers are always gonna be slightly different than yours. I'm gonna talk about some of the things that you should consider when running the numbers yourself because I'm not gonna do all the work. And to be honest, it would be so different that we'll just be in an argument on uh, the YouTube comment section about what makes more sense and what your numbers look like versus mine. So let's just broad spectrum here. If you're trying to start a dumpster business and you just want to go full-fledged dumpster business, that, that's your goal. Don't be so short-sighted. Don't be like, I want to get started right now. I've got 15 grand. Uh, I can't afford the roll-off, so what I'm going to go do right now is I'm going to go buy a dump trailer and then just start renting that out. You could do that, or you could save about another 10 grand and get a nice roll-off trailer and a dumpster. And this is the prices right now, guys. I'm seeing these close to, you know, 20-something thousand dollars for a dumpster and a trailer. They weren't that price when I bought them. I got in early and it worked out. Here's the deal though. Right now, if you go look for a dump trailer where the roll off container does not come off and a dump trailer with sides almost equivalent, not even as high, you're going to be paying about 16 grand ish, depending on where you're at, maybe even more. Uh, I tend to see that the prices in my area are always cheaper than those out in California. Um, definitely on the West Coast, definitely on the East Coast. Uh, when you're in mid-America like I am, um, I'm seeing down in Texas and in Missouri, prices are just way more reasonable. I know guys who made nine, 10 hour trips to go get their roll off setups. But anyway, beyond that, let's just say you're paying 16 grand for one trailer um, that is just a dump trailer. The, the container doesn't come off or you're paying 20 something grand for your first Trailer with one dumpster All right Things to consider things that you should be adding up in your head All right, the Dumpster Every time you go get a dumpster right now. They're very expensive uh, Metal prices are up shipping logistics COVID blah 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 blah. We know we know everything is up Hyperinflation is real, it happened. And it, or is it still happening? Uh, so, let's just say those cost around $5,000 for a standard 14 yard, 13 yard container. And then the equivalent is to go get a single trailer that just dumps and it's 16,000. So, if you're really gonna try to grow a dumpster business just from scratch, whether that's, I want to be all dumpster, I, I, that's what I want to do. Whether it starts as a side hustle or you just want to go full-fledged, full-time business. I would get the roll-off because your initial investment is higher, yes. But after that, every time you want to scale up and you're getting more calls and you're, you don't have enough inventory, you go buy a $5,000 dumpster versus going to buy a $16,000 equivalent dump trailer exactly on top of that let's also take into consideration that with every dump trailer you have to get a new license plate you have to get new registration you have to so you have to register with that state so I don't know what your guys's states are what it costs you know but um, in Illinois it's incredibly high to register trailers over a certain axle rating. And not only that, if you're in Missouri, you pay personal, personal property tax. I don't know what states have that or where you're listening from or tuning in from. You might have to pay personal property on each trailer. You also have to repair tires on every trailer. Let's say you build this business up with dump trailers and now you have six trailers. I know a, a guy in my town that is technically considered my competitor who has easily six to eight of these dump trailers 
and it blows my mind because each one of them has two sets of tires. Uh, if you're going to the landfill, I highly suggest using 16 ply, which you know are gonna be pretty expensive, and that doesn't guarantee you don't get flats. It really doesn't. Um, they're better tire, you get them probably less often, but you're gonna get flats. Uh, I repaired two last week, and I have 16 ply tires, and that's on a single trailer. I can't imagine if I'm going to the dump several times a week with different trailers. So you're going to have four tires at least on each of those dump trailers, plus you're gonna probably have a spare on each trailer. Then on each of those trailers, you're gonna have sets of brakes. Four brakes, right? I mean, drums on each axle on each side. So you're gonna have four brakes on each one of those trailers. You're also gonna have wiring harnesses remotes um, and batteries. Batteries kill you. Once you replace your first couple batteries, you really realize those marine batteries are not cheap. They're sometimes a couple hundred dollars. So the only thing that a dump trailer doesn't have that my trailer does, where I guess you could say saves money, is a winch. I have a winch that I have to maintain. Outside of that, they're exactly the same. Right? got a hydraulic maybe one or two hydraulics depending on if it's a telescoping or a scissor or whatever it is so if you're trying to do the dumpster side hustle or dumpster business or dumpster hybrid business whatever you want to call it but you're gonna do it a lot I would still get those roll-offs because I mean do it for your state do it for your area do it for whatever the cost of the dumpster roll-offs and trailers are around you run the numbers and see how fast you can actually scale the roll-off business versus the dump trailer business. Not only that, if you're not somebody who goes out and like brands your dumpsters or your trailers with all of your logos and contact information, it's a heck of a lot easier to hitch up to somebody else's trailer and for somebody to come up and steal it from you, especially if you're in a bigger city and you never see that trailer again, then if uh, somebody wants to try to steal my roll-off container, I, I mean, I'd be impressed. There's like one other guy in town that even has the similar rail system. And on top of that, if somebody used a flatbed and a winch or something, it still got all my branding on it and I would just be, I, I would almost be impressed. I, I would almost challenge somebody to do it. Um, a lot of people recognize it, they would notice that going down the road. And then another one I forgot, on my dump trailer, or my, my, I'm sorry, my dumpster roll-offs, I don't insure my individual dumpsters. You will have insurance companies when you're actually starting to quote this out, try to insure you for your individual dumpsters. Let's just actually think about that for a second. Why would you insure something that is gonna beat, I mean, it's just gonna get beat to crap. It's gonna get beat up all the time. Why would you wanna insure that? So, not only that, they insure it, they'll try to insure it for theft. You know what, if you lose 5,000, you're never gonna claim a dumpster. I mean, you really never will. So, save money, only insure your trailer, and then make sure you have you know all your general liability and stuff, so that if somebody gets hurt and the dumpster's attached to your trailer, you're good. But the other thing is, if you get the dump trailers where it doesn't roll off, you're going to have to insure every one of those trailers. Seriously. I mean, really go down and sit down and add up the costs. It doesn't make sense to try to start a full-fledged business with dump trailers, in my point of view. Here's the exception. If you are somebody who does landscaping, lawn care, uh, gravel, dirt removal, you've got skidsters, whatever, but you have a dump trailer that only gets used periodically. Maybe you have two or three of them because you've got a crew accumulated them or you bought them recently then yes I would say yeah it makes sense to rent them out try to make some money try to make that side hustle try to make that additional income or add it to your whatever business you have going because you can but if you're trying to actually start a full-fledged business it in my opinion it's just short-sighted to say I'm gonna save five to ten grand now but it's gonna cost me thirty to forty grand later to try to scale my business buying two, three, four more dump trailers and still not scaling 
the way somebody would with a roll-off setup. So, I get the question all the time, should I just start with a dump trailer and try to scale my business? No, I, I don't think so. Some guys say, I'm gonna start with a, a dump trailer, you know, accumulate some money, and then I'm gonna go buy a roll-off setup, and in my opinion, it's just, all right, <coughs> I get it, <clears throat> that instant gratification of getting started, grinding, getting at it, but at the end of the day, I personally think it would take longer than just waiting a little bit, saving your money, buying the roll-off setup, even if that's just one dumpster afterwards, and then scaling, then trying to buy one dump trailer, save the money, by make, you gotta make that money back, then save the money to buy a roll-off setup. To me, it just, it doesn't really make sense. Those are just my ideas. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna. I wasn't gonna sit in front of a whiteboard. This is definitely me just kind of ranting on. I'm not gonna show you clips of a dump trailer versus a roll-off container. You can you can look at those all over YouTube. You can see them. There's dozens and dozens of brands. I'll always recommend Max XD, Load Trail. Um, I mean, really, those are my two favorites. And I, of course, I'm biased. I have both of those but I have had incredibly good luck with both of those trailer types. Uh, super good quality. Some guys will talk about standard rail uh, versus these Max XD rails that fit the box differently. And then you also need to kind of dive into the, okay, how big do I want this business to be? Should I just go right in and I, should I get a hook lift truck and completely forget about the trailer? I go get an F550 or something with air brakes and I just get a hook lift that hooks these dumpsters up right on the container. That gets into a whole nother ballpark, whole nother video of CDL versus Class A. You know, Class A when you're towing something of certain weight behind you versus um, it just sitting on the bed of your truck. There's ways to completely dodge a CDL then if it's just sitting on the back of your truck. Um, or maybe just requiring a class B because you're not towing something behind you. There's so many different avenues to dive into there. So if you're considering the dumpster business at all, which it seems like a lot of people are, there's a, a peaked interest in it. And there's a reason, a lot of guys are doing it now. There's a high demand for these trailers. There's a high demand for this business. And if you guys haven't been paying attention, trash has gone up like over 30 something percent around the country. People are staying home more. They are, I, you know, and they're doing more demolition. They, if you go down to Florida, Texas, these places can't keep up with the amount of renovations and, um, you know, all these other developments that are being done in neighborhoods and in uh, downtown. So it's happening. This business is scaling. And in my opinion, it'll never be the same. It's never going to be your Republic Waste Management allied. Um, just taking over the entire town. It's gonna be divided up between uh, them and us, the small guys, which I think some people call us in U the UK skips, which I think is a really cool name. Um, but these small operations are gonna be basically feeding the bigger operations that primarily probably won't be doing this as much anymore, and they'll be just controlling the dumps, which then obviously you know, it rolls downhill to us and we end up paying the cost for that. But I really do believe that that's the direction the industry's going. It's no more the big monopoly of uh, the waste management. They, they're competing with us now. Whether it's uh, in price or in volume, if we're pricing ourselves differently, do not price yourself cheaper. Always price yourself differently. I will always say that. Whatever your competition charges, do not charge $5 less charge yourself differently you'll if you go see my website you'll see that I have a tiered program you go to uh, the big competitors the monopoly uh, company in my area they charge one big price um, that's all there is and that's why people like pricing psychology guys is huge uh, you don't have to necessarily be the best value uh, but you can offer a different price or a different value to people by saving the money by doing it faster rather than holding a dumpster for a longer period of time and paying more. So turnover is key in my business, but that's getting, again, into a whole other video. So thanks for watching, guys. This is just me spitting out some ideas for you to consider when you're starting this business, 
where you should get started, what you should wait for. Um, but prices of these trailers, whether it's dumpster roll-offs or dump trailers, keep going up in value uh, as metal prices still are high and well, the industry demand has gotten high too, so that's another part of it, and these companies realize it. I don't know when they're gonna go down. I don't, I don't know. So if you're wanting to get into it, it's up to you, but really do your research, or you'll be like some of the other guys who are selling their equipment, you know, four days, or four months, five months later, and realize it's not for them. You know, this starts out as a side hustle, and that's the way I started it, but it turns into a full-fledged business very fast if you know how to actually push your um, agenda, push your your company, push you know your brand awareness, and you know how to really provide customer service and value to your customers. It'll grow really quick. But it takes time, it takes grind. I'm not a guru gonna tell you that you can make a million dollars by doing this the easy way. You never have to lift a finger. I'm not that guy on YouTube. So, have a good one, guys. I hope you like, subscribe, follow me for more content. Uh, and I'll keep pushing stuff out as long as you guys are still watching it, I guess. So, thanks again for watching. Have a good one.